Dear Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, who is Donovan Sharp? As a beta male, beta. not an alpha male. Beta male, yes. Beta male, beta. You a beta male? Beta male, not an alpha male. Beta, beta. What a shame. Mommy boy. As a beta male, beta. Not an alpha male. Beta male, yes. Beta male, beta. You a beta male? Beta male, not an alpha male. Beta, beta. What a shame. Mommy boy. Thank you, dear Reverend. I appreciate that. Good man, good Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you very much. Excellent analysis of Donovan Sharp, of course. Beta male, not an alpha male. Now, let's get into who Donovan Sharp really is. We've exposed him throughout this video, the various lies that are very serious that he's been telling to the public and masquerading as uh, for many years now. Millions of people he's been lying to, as well as over 100,000 of his own fans, and of course, the entire Manosphere community, and even my own audience at 21 Studios, the Red Man Group, 21 Convention, and so on. So Donovan Sharp basically LARPs and role plays as this alpha male red pill meathead. He kind of satirizes and attacks that sometimes, but ultimately that's the character uh, more or less that he has embodied or tried to embody Edwin Hopkins using the persona, the fake persona, this kind of Batman persona of Donovan Sharp. Let's look into that a little more. This is a thumbnail from Donovan's YouTube channel. I did not make this. This is his own image. The real reason Devon, his wife, surrendered control and submitted to me. Oh, savage, bro. Savage. Real alpha fucking male. On his Instagram, for example, he literally bills himself as a red pill dating expert. You can go check that out for yourself. Red pill dating expert. Of course, the red pill comes from the movie The Matrix. Morpheus offers the red pill, the blue pill to Neo. The red pill is supposed to represent reality. It's supposed to represent the truth, the cold, harsh, bitter red pill truth. Donovan is supposed to give that to his audience, sell that through entertainment and education. He actually sells courses such as Womanese to educate men on the red pill truth, right? And he pretends to be this red pill badass, right? His wife, or girlfriend, as he calls her, but it's his wife, surrendered control and submitted to me. Very alpha, big, bad alpha male. Ooh, right? And he goes around clubs taking random pictures of women that he's not even fucking, right? These are from his Instagram, by the way. You can go find these. Uh, in reality, you know, so he, and he pretends to go on this kind of red pill journey, right? Like, I was a beta male long long ago and now i'm a big bad red pill alpha male alpha, red pill meathead rah 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 these hoes ain't shit these hoes ain't loyal five dollar super chat thank you very much all this fucking bullshit right here's another beta male picture he has from back in the day and look people believe it man especially people that don't know him on the internet this is a fake lie a fake persona that he has created to sell bullshit like womanese that we've been discussing throughout the show to sell courses and products. Let me see if I can find the image up there. To sell this kind of crap, right? To sell his Patreon, to sell Super Chats, all this fucking garbage. He LARPs and LARPs and role plays, live action role plays, being an alpha male. And look, even people, you know, he even hashtags it like Beta Donovan. And even guys like AMS, Alpha Male Strategies, they actually buy into this stuff, right? It's a believable con. Donovan Sharp is a con artist. And I'm going to share with you guys something very important here that a speaker once told me, an alumni speaker at the 21 convention. It's very important. He said that the way a man does one thing is the way he does everything. I'm going to repeat that. The, mo the way a man does one thing is the way he does everything. And that, that describes Donovan Sharp's life, Edwin Hopkins' life, to a T, perfectly. He pretends, again, to go on this red pill journey from being a beta male to an alpha male, right? Oh, he grew a beard, very alpha, red pill meathead, rah, rah, rah. These hoes ain't shit, right? In reality, he's a fat mama's boy. A beta male, blue pill, simpanzee with one itis for his wife. All this crap about her surrendering to him and submitting, it's all con. It's bullshit. It never happened. It's actually a projection of what's actually going on, the exact opposite of what's occurring. She runs his ass. I've seen her lead him around by his little shrimp dick in Orlando in 21 convention. She takes him to the fucking mall and she blows all the money he scammed out of you using lies about her and shit. If you guys have paid this guy's shit on Patreon and his courses and shit, you've been cucked. You are a simp for this fucking woman, Devon Sharp, Cynthia Ashlock. She absolutely fucking runs his ass. He has severe case of one-itis. She fucking just runs it. His balls, his little hamster balls are in her purse to the T. And if you've been buying shit from this guy ever and paying him anything, you were cucked by this woman. You are a simp for this woman, Cynthia Ashlock. It is a big fucking scam. Donovan Sharp in real life, this is recent, is a guy with man boobs. He's not quite as fat as he used to be here when he was younger. 
but the basically still the exact same inside this beta male journey to a red pill, alpha male to a red pill dating expert as he builds himself. Oh, grew a beard. Oh, so savage. Look at that look in his eyes. Real, real hard ass, right? No, he's a fat loser and a fat beta male with man boobs. And he married a woman who's older than him, who is pushing her mid 40. She's 45 years old now almost. He's even trying to play damage control lately because he was exposed by the MGTOW channels and Black Pill Truth channels that I showed you. He's posting all these jokes about being exposed, exposed. He's really showing his massive insecurity of what a fucking fraud he is because he knows that deep down behind all the fucking red pill bravado, oh, all these fucking hoes, these hoes ain't shit. I became an alpha male. Everybody believes me. He's still a fucking fat beta male inside, a fat beta male loser. Blue pill simpanzi to the bone literally has a severe case of oneitis, which is one of the worst things that can happen in the manosphere to somebody. It's a very negative thing, right? Very short of divorce rape and a few other very negative things that can happen. Just having your life ruined. This guy has oneitis. He's in a codependent, blue pill, unhealthy, toxic relationship with this woman, Devon Sharp, Cynthia Ashlock. He is completely cucked by this woman, just like guys who buy the crap from him are. They're all simps. She takes that money and buys fucking handbags and shoes and all kinds of bullshit as she leads him around by his little baby shrimp dick. It is disturbing to watch in real life, and that is actually what happens in real life behind all the fucking bullshit, behind this fake Batman persona of being this hard ass that he creates in his head to sell you guys bullshit and be a con artist like he is and has been for his whole fucking life. Let's look into this a little more here. So we have the fat man boobs. We have the fat mom's boy. We have old beta pictures. And now, you know, he's been on this red pill journey with the blue pill past. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, it's all fucking scam, guys. So more specifically, let's pull something up here that's not Donovan. Let's pull up those of you maybe who follow politics even a little bit, you know, if you follow the news at all, you might know this guy, Andrew Gillum. Andrew Gillum was a candidate for governor in Florida a couple years ago, not too long ago, uh, 2018, and he almost won. He lost to Ron DeSantis, the current governor, by a razor thin margin. It was a very tight race. And look at him here. What a nice family man, right? Three kids, got a wife. He was the uh, former mayor of Tallahassee, a good good upstanding member of the community, a good father and a good man, right? The like Donovan's a good red pill dating expert, right? Red pill dating expert. Ah, oh, bang these hoes. Learn the truth about women. Take the red pill, right? Yeah, wrong, false, bullshit. In real life, behind the suits and all this fucking nice shit and these family photos and all this crap, this fucking loser, Andrew Gillum, is a fucking meth addict. This is all over the news. Miami Herald, CNN, Sun Sentinel, all this stuff. They found him let's see, about a year ago, maybe a little longer, you know, it's sitting in a pool of his own puke, his own vomit in Miami, Florida, banging a gay hooker, a gay fucking hooker, and they were doing meth together. This family man was cheating on his wife with a gay hooker. The former mayor of Tallahassee almost became her governor. Look at this smile. Big old smile, big old smile. Everybody's happy. It's all fucking bullshit. In real life, he's banging gay hookers in Miami, smoking crystal meth of these fucking people. It's disgusting and disturbing. This is how what happens. This isn't as politicians, guys. It's easy to blame it. Oh, politicians are scum. Oh, yeah, right. It's not just politicians. It's public figures. They say one thing in public and they do another thing in private. Just like Donovan, this big fat fucking fraud in real life is a fat fucking mama's boy. Oh, my, my girlfriend, Devon, his wife, really, surrendered control. Big, bad alpha male with a beard. Rah, rah, rah. No, he's a beta male fraud. He's always been a fraud. He's a lifelong con artist. He is always lying. He is a compulsive liar, a pathological liar. Basically, everything you know about his character of Donovan Sharp that he's created on the internet is bullshit. It's always been bullshit. It didn't recently become bullshit. It's gotten worse over the past couple of years due to oneitis, due to this codependent, unhealthy, toxic relationship he's in with this woman who's manipulating him and who's the brains of the operation. But he's always been this fat mama's boy. He is a spitting image of what single mothers raise. He is the son of a single mother. As we know, single mothers raise the worst children in America. That's a fact. Go look it up. It is literally the worst thing that happened to a young child. It's worse than anything. It has all kinds of negative consequences, lifelong being a criminal, lifelong poverty, lifelong drug abuse, behavioral disorders, all kinds of things. Being raised by a single mother, as we talk about in the manosphere, as Donovan talks about on his own fucking show over and over again, hundreds of times, it sucks, it's brutal, and it produces fucked up kids like this fat con artist mama's boy. He is a fucking con artist and a fraud with fucking man boobs. So all this stuff about him being an alpha male, it's all fucking fake. It's exactly like this stuff. 
Andrew Gillum, big family man, nice suit, nice tie, almost became the governor, former mayor. And really, he fucking, you know, was almost drowning in puke, smoking crystal meth, banging a gay hooker behind his wife's back and his family's back, being a piece of shit scumbag. That is who Donovan Sharp is behind the scenes, behind all this fucking bullshit. Oh, red pill meathead, red pill alpha male, rah, rah, rah. No, he's a beta male. He is a beta male blue pill chimpanzee, exactly like Jesse Lee Peterson was singing about in that song that someone made with clips from his uh, podcast and stuff. So here's what he's really doing, even more specifically. I want to highlight this a little more. So this is a picture I'm going to show you guys of two friends of mine that I care about very much and respect immensely. This is on the left, Tanner Guzzi and his family uh, and his wife. And then on the right, we have Pastor Michael Foster, his wife and family. What you see there is an example of success, uh, really good success by men who chose to go this path in life. Now, what they have done, this is what, you, what we're showing here is results. These two men have massive results in their lives, physical results you can see. They have positive, healthy relationships with beautiful women, their wives, long-term relationships. These men are killing it. They're legitimately enjoying those relationships. They're married, having an awesome time, and they have these big families. They crank out kids by the dozen. Crank out kids by the dozen. And what you're looking at is 100% patriarchy. These men did the work. They put in the boot, the, the put up by the bootstraps, you know, they did the fucking work and they got the fucking results. Pardon my French. I know both of these men are not too much into cursing. It is what it is, but they did the work and they have the results and they have the success. They have done that in an anti-masculine age when people hate fathers and they hate masculinity and they hate men and they hate patriarchy. What do these men do? 100% patriarchy, awesome relationships, awesome families. They crank out kids by the dozens, right? That's their results, the relationships, the marriages, and the families. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, we'll look something else here. Two guys I also know. On the left, we have Cobra Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Cobra Tate. Playboy, millionaire, lifestyle, bangs hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women, maybe thousands, who knows. And on the right, we have John Anthony, a coach I interviewed recently. And this is his interview from uh, with John Samez at Bulldog Mindset. He's also banged over a thousand women. Now, what is the connection between these two these two uh, individuals or the two sets of individuals we're looking at, right? On one end of the spectrum, we have uh, family men who are extremely successful by their own intelligence, creativity, risk-taking, and hard fucking work. They have the results. They got them. They earned them. They didn't con people into believing they have them. They actually have them physically in real life. And I've met, you know, I've met these men. I know these men. This is real. They are congruent to their life, and it's real. These men on the right, it's the same thing. These guys have, an, it's an opposite end of the spectrum, obviously, right? They're not cranking out kids by the dozen. They're banging women by the dozen. So it's a lot different, but it's another form of success, whether or not you have a positive opinion of it. It took hard fucking work to do this, to become a millionaire and bang all these hot women, to be a guy who goes out and bangs over 1300 women with cold approaching and stuff. Do you know how many times John Anthony on the right there has gotten rejected by women? Probably over 10,000 times, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of approaches all this fucking hard work. That's why he gets pissed off with frauds like Donovan, because he actually put in the fucking work, the hard fucking work and the risk taking and the rejection and the ego bruises. Same thing with Cobra Tate, all the shit he's done in his life. He has earned that life and it took hard fucking work and risk taking and balls and guts. The same as it does for these guys to become absolute patriarchs, lead their families, be strong men, have good masculinity, good, healthy relationships with women. Guys, this is legit. This is what success looks like in real life. And what does Donovan tell us, too, about his results, right? What does he say here about this stuff? Dude, listen, man. My results speak for themselves. Speak for themselves. It is what it is. Yeah, it really does, Donovan. This is your wife that you're ashamed to even call your wife. You're a fucking hypocrite with stuff like this. This is what your wife looks like, and you're a fucking liar about it. You even asked George Bruno to marry you. And you role play, and you LARP, and you rip off. You leech off the credibility of men like this and men like this. He actually pretends to be more like this, what we're seeing here, being this massive playboy. You know, it's stuff like this. It's all bullshit. It doesn't exist, guys. It never happened. He was never banging hot women in, you know, Vegas and all this stuff. It's all bullshit. Donovan Sharp banks fat women. This is his wife. This is literally the best he could do. Literally. I would bet my left nut that Donovan Sharp, Edwin Hopkins, has never banged a hot woman in his entire fucking life and never will. Never has, does not currently, and never will. He lies and lies and lies to sell you guys bullshit, to make you a bunch of simps for his fucking wife. It's all fucking scam, guys. So he, you know, he pretends to be kind of this, but really in real life, like I showed you, he's been building a secret family. So it's like a dark, mutated version of this. 
a very illegitimate, disingenuine one that he hides and lies about in real life. So it's all bullshit, guys. He's very much like Andrew Gillum, you know, the family man, the six, you know, this, this public persona that's very pristine, very crafted, very manicured, right? And all the family and the smiles and the suits and all oh, I'm the former mayor and I'm a good upstanding family man. And I actually am a meth addict banging gay hookers behind my wife's back in Miami. That's real life, guys. That's how the shit actually fucking works. Donovan goes further. He hides behind guys like Coach Greg Adams, right? We see even Coach Greg commenting uh, or liking this photo here. Coach Greg doesn't know. He barely knows Donovan. It's like AMS, right? People believe this crap, right? He hides behind good men like Coach Greg. He hides behind the credibility of good men like Terrence Pop. He leeches off their credibility and their good reputation. And they're strong, good men with, that are congruent to who they are. They're not frauds. He hides behind them because he's a piece of shit, like a snake in the grass, slivering around like a fucking worm, hiding in the shadows. It's a fucking scam. In real life, Donovan is a lifelong career criminal. He has a rap sheet a mile long. By my count, 37 criminal counts. 37. You want to see? Let's fucking go through them. This is publicly available information. You guys can go check this out for yourself. Crime after crime. after This has already been exposed, by the way, in other channels. Felonies, misdemeanors, all kinds of shit. He used to talk on a show about being a coke addict. He called it the Cocaine Chronicles. All the cocaine used to do and all this fucking bullshit, theft, larceny, all this fucking crap. It goes on and on and on. Lifelong career fucking criminal, a self-admitted former used car salesman, used to also sell beds and shit. I hope those weren't used. All to fucking sell you guys that he's this fake red pill badass. And it's all fucking fake, guys. It's all bullshit. Everything about this guy is a fucking scam to leech off of men like this and men like this, like he's one of them. Like he actually put in the hard work to be a badass and red pill. And he's not. He's a fucking beta male fatty with fucking man boobs. He always has been and he always fucking will be by his own choice for choosing to be a fraud. No one forced him to lie. No one forced him to be a fraud. He fucking chose it every step of the way, including right now on this very fucking day that I filmed this video. He continues with this fucking role playing bullshit. This fake persona is created to sell you guys and scam you out of fucking money to false advertising lying about his wife's age, lying about the relationship, lying about the fucking marriage, lying about all this, the appearance and the way she looks, all this fucking stuff. It is a massive fraud, guys. Super scam, super scummy, super retarded. And we cannot stand for it. It has to end today, right fucking now.